I think it is still there, actually. Is it? I love that night in that pub. And the old that people was brilliant, thing. wasn't it? Oh, uh, you remember it. You said you didn't remember it. I loved it. But, oh, oh, could we... oh, we got some ladies. Oh, would you like to sit down? And they brought us drinks. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. But it's, we were just it's... so polite, weren't we? Yeah. Well, it goes without saying. Yeah. Now, it looks really fucking posh down here, but this is where I was born. Oh, I, I'm fucking posh. That's the house I was born in. Now, it didn't look like that. What, what did it look like? Oh, it was... Now, it's some fancy fucking, you know, people making it. It was council house. But that's... I was born there. I was born there. I'd like to move back here, but Chelsea's changed, you know? I mean, me and you were born here, it's changed, isn't it? We sound like old fogies, it's all changed, but yeah, things change, but Starbucks and fucking Cafe Nero, I mean, for fuck's sake, I mean, like, who fucking needs that? McDonald's, Burger King. Cars and Jill came down to London for a weekend break, and we both agreed we Time. I got arrested in this shop <clears throat> maybe 9, 10, 11 times. What records did you try to nick? Do you remember? Sizzling the badges. Seriously? Cars and Jill came down to London for a weekend break and we both agreed we both had a smashing time. We went to the same school, but, you know, we didn't speak to each other in school because in school there's that house there, you are those people, and then there's those ones and there's those ones. Uh, just one day in the street, I saw Edward carrying a guitar. 14 or 15. Yeah. I said, I've got a guitar as well. First time I came round to, um, when Dan said, oh, you've got a guitar, come up, I've got one too, we'll have a jam. And your pa answered the door and... Uh... He was supposed to be at work. Because oh. I've never had friends round before, ever. A squirrel. Talk to the animals, Dan. Show them that thing you do with the animals. <laughs> oh, you missed that. Squirrel. I was bullied at school. I was quite one who sat at the back. I knew all the answers, but I couldn't... I, I couldn't put... Yeah, I know the answer. I thought, I don't give a fucking shit. I know the answer, you know? My dad taught me that, because my dad was like, just do your own thing, you know? From an early age, he said, just do your own thing. I'm looking down on London, but as little I can see. Cos I'm living so high up, and it looks so small to me. I just left school, I was 16. My dad said, look, your mum's pretty pissed off, go and get a job. If you want to do a record, I'll help you make a record. £400. Went into the studio with Ed, and we just did it. And we were just like, it was weird, wasn't it? Yeah. Didn't, didn't realise that you could, like, sing afterwards. We just did it live. That was 14th floor. And my dad was pleased. He said, now, uh, what are you going to do next? I said, I want to do another one. I said, all right, then. The whole thing just became an absolute phenomenon. And I think, Dan, to be absolutely honest, I think you probably suffered your first nervous breakdown at that point, because... My breakdowns are nothing to do with music whatsoever. Did that not do your, do no, your head in a bit? No, not even slightly? No, no, no. Because it did no, take no. time. No, I'm going... I'm... Daniel, over here. Sit, I'm, talk to I'm, 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 Are you going to talk to the... I'm, I'm going to go and chat someone up. Is that right? Well, I had my first one at 14 at school because I got bullied. And I just went, they said, oh, he's schizophrenic. Every 14-year-old boy is schizophrenic. It's hormones, you know? You don't know if you... One minute you're looking at boys, one minute you're looking at girls, you know. Well, I did. And then the next one was 21. And then 28. That's weird. 14, 21, 28. Every seven-year cycle. 
that's biblical, which is very, well, I like to think it's coincidence, but I do think about these things and stuff. I, when you went to a school like us, where it was Bible bashing school, we all had to go to the Yorkshire school on Ash Wednesday and have fucking ashes put on our heads. I said, no, don't fucking put that on my fucking head, you know? Communion, all that Catholic shit. And it is shit. There were drugs at our school, the London Archery, when I was 15. There was like one person, I won't name him, he's dead now, anyway. But he had speed. Uh, I didn't know Ed then. I didn't know, I didn't know Ed or John. I was on my own, completely on my own. I just did it on my own. And my mother had like strong antidepressants. And being a child at 14, you know, I was tempted. I tried one. I thought, well, oh, it's quite nice. I feel better now. And, um, but the whole, all right, I got into heroin. Not, not crack, not crack. I did it, but I did. But heroin, I was 27. Oh. And we went on tour about 84. And the driver said, there's a bag of speed, there's a bag of coke. I thought, might be good, might be good, you know? And I'm, I, I was a fucking amphetamine freak. Because I just think I'm, go I'm going to write the worst music ever. But you don't feel for your own sake that you should try? Try what? Being sober. Why? I was sober for 29 years. I'm not an alcoholic, it's ridiculous. I'm, I'm, I'm putting on an act. You know, I can handle this fucking shit. You know, I can drink till the day finishes. It's like, what what happens next, you know? I mean, come on, Shakespeare, Bikoski, everyone, Van Gogh, they all did fucking drugs of some sort, you know? That's not making me, like, you know, an excuser. I'm sorry, I do what I do. I do what I do to make me feel better throughout the day. Now, with this girl, all right, hiker, she won't mind. With this girl hiker, like, I spent a few days with her. I didn't drink, and I thought, I will stop drinking with this girl, if she wants that, you know? I know, I know I'm not well right now, but don't worry about it, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to kick off, I'm not going to be stupid, I'm not going to go mental, I've never been violent, but I know I'm not very well right now, but don't worry about it, it's, it's alright, and it's all interesting, isn't it?
Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Andres, so, Andres, sorry, like, I mean, you want me to talk, and I'll, I'm willing to talk, and I don't want to play, like, a silly fucking bastard, so if you want, if you want me to talk, I'll talk, okay, it's okay, I, I, I like it, you know, I don't like it, but, but it's what you want, isn't it, and I don't mind at all, you know, and I, I'm quite happy to play, no, actually, I don't, I don't want to play guitar, you know. But I'm, I'm... Go on, go on. Sure. My arms... Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> that was from injecting. Right. It's not bones. That was from injecting badly. And I got legs and stuff. <laughs> I'm surprised I've got still one leg, two arms. I did. I used to inject there with heroin and stuff. And I got away with it, so can we just stop that now? No, please. I remember when you took... writing the songs for this record because it was quite a long while. In prison. In prison. People think uh, I was in prison for like four years. I wasn't. I, I've been in prison four times. It was like one week, two weeks, three weeks, and then three months. Well, six months. And I did three months. And that was the happiest time of my life. They sent me to a prison in Plymouth, in west, west of England, isn't it? And it was a boat. Not a real boat on the sea, but a boat on the shore. And at, at the end of the prison term, they gave me money, like 90 pounds, in Plymouth. I'm thinking, right, now I've got to go back to London. What do I do now? The first night, I went, I went back and I brought some heroin and crack. And then the second day, I phoned my sister, thinking, please, God, be there for me, you know, and she was, and she is. I don't know what, no, I just want the killers. You want the killers? Yeah, thank you, dear. That's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know. But that's the time for now. What, yeah, what, yeah. What, what are your, yeah. Why is yeah. it called that? And what are your dark places? My dark places? Oh, for God's sake. My dark places? It's, it's, it's just, oh, come on. You're asking too much now. You wanted to do no, no, no. I didn't want to do this, right? Just don't expect me to have answers to your questions, right? My dark places. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know my fucking self, my, my dark places, you know? We went to a fucking Catholic school that fucking just 
stand our fucking heads on it. Sorry. Sorry. Mm. They banned our fucking heads again. Catholic, Catholic, Catholic. That's a, why? Why? It's, it's... Maybe it's you. It wasn't me, you know? All that fucking going to school, you know? And I, yeah, you, you are Catholic. I said, what? Why can't I be Muslim? Why can't I be myself? But you, you battle through it, Dan. Because the thing is, is like people, you, you know, when you, when, when people are supposed to. I don't. To be, I've, I've not battled through it. I've been through fucking heroin addiction, speed and drug addiction for eight years, making a fucking fool of myself, and I'm ashamed of myself. You know, but. People say, oh, yeah, Dan, yeah, yeah, you done, you done really well. You did drugs and stuff. I think, you fuck, I wish I'd never fucking done that in the first place. I had a fucking beautiful girlfriend and stuff. Addison, I don't mind admitting it. But anyway, I've got another chance now. So, there we go. You'll go. <laughs> Say, you know, I'm not a serious artist. Now, I, I've got someone who tells me that, Dan, I love you. It means more to me than fucking rock and roll. Well, Laura's in America and she reports now from Biloxi, Mississippi. Well, as you can see, this chick is... 